I've been very friendly for a long time with uh, Matthew Vaughn. It, oh, really? Yours was the one set of his I haven't visited just because it was Fox. Right. But uh, Fox is, I think, far more control. When it's his uh, movies, Matthew yeah. can just do what he wants. And, and I guess that raises a question. Are you, uh, are you looking forward to, to revisiting that with him? Yeah, I mean, I hope so. If, if another one happens, I'd love to. When you're doing the first in a potential series, there's so much legwork that you have to do. Can you talk about uh, the reality itself, about the reality of the district, the reality of the capital, and, and sort of stepping into that world? Working on District 12, it was kind of, it was so far in the future that it was almost in the past. I mean, it doesn't, District 12 does not in any way look like it's from the future. It looks like a coal mining town from the 20s or 1900s. And then getting into the capital, it just had to be the most extreme version, but it was the most extreme, like, opposite worlds. It was like shooting two different movies. And then the other thing that was, you know, history always repeats itself in styles and houses, you know, and clothing and everything. So it had to be, if we were thinking in the future, it kind of had to just be the revamped extreme version of, you know, styles from today and almost, you know, like, um, the 18th century. Going through what Katniss goes through, going through the games themselves, going through this moment where you're suddenly thrust into the world stage, you're going to have to do that now in terms of the selling of this film. Was any of that anxiety part of what you then channeled into the performance? No. Once I got on set, it had to just be making another movie, making a film. And and, and it really did feel that way because you, you, you have to shut everything out or else you've got all everybody's voice in your head except your own. So it was, I think it was important to kind of shut all of that out. It's interesting because there are threads that are being set up here for later stories. Your relationship with President Snow, which is just, we just see the, the seeds of it in this film, or your relationship with Gale. Mm -hmm. What work did you guys do, especially you and Liam, to establish a relationship that is very important to you but doesn't have a lot of screen time? That's all Gary, honestly. You just need a couple scenes just to kind of get the closeness of somebody. It's just kind of how they react with one another. And I think you understand that from the first seconds of Gail and Katniss being together. And that's, you know, all Gary Ross. If I were to hand you the bow and arrow today, how are you? I could you? shoot you. Yes, <laughs> yes. Have you gotten really comfortable with them? Is it is it a process of, of really getting... getting yeah, yeah, I, re I really love it now. <laughs>